Welcome back to my endlessly long playthrough of Super Mario RPG, where last time we finally reached the castle of our old nemesis, now under new management. And now we have six doors. Um, basically there are six different doors, as I'm telling you right now. Uh, two are action stages, two are fighting stages, and two are puzzle stages. And we must go through four doors randomly scattered to proceed to the next area of the castle. Um, however, the doors, although randomly assigned, are fixed as soon as you enter the castle for the first time. So I've already gone through all of these so I know which ones they are. Um, the fact of the matter is, four of the doors, the non-puzzle stages, give you weapon upgrades, while the puzzle stages give you, uh, rock candies. Now, I am not interested in getting the rock candies at the moment, so I'm gonna do the puzzle stages right now, uh, just so you can see them, and then I'm gonna reset the game. So this first uh, puzzle is uh, basically like blackjack in a sense. Uh, there are 21 coins in the box and the person who gets the last coin loses. Alright, this next puzzle is the easiest one in the game. It's a bunch of green switches. You must flip them all off at the same time. Each switch activates the corresponding switch, so just find patterns of the T-shape, basically. Bam, we're done. That, however, is followed by uh, one that I've always kind of had trouble with. Even though the, the, the guide, back when I used to use player's guides for everything. Uh, it's diagram I can never make sense of either, so I just have to try. Um, this is like those sort of uh, peg jumping puzzles you get in restaurants, where you have to uh, uh, eliminate these cannonballs and only leave one behind at the end. So the ultimate goal is to keep, you know, keep as many pairs together as possible so you don't uh, end up being unable to get cannonballs adjacent to each other. Hmm. Uh, I already messed this up. I don't know. The oh, that was. I don't. Maybe. Ah, oh, crap. I don't think I can salvage this. Yeah, that. Yeah, screwed that up. Uh, two balls. Oh, well. Alright, so game over. I gotta start over again, so uh, I'll see you back in a second. Alright, okay, here we go. Didn't feel the need to show you all that stuff all over again. It's That's all pretty simple. Let's try this again. Okay, I got this. Jeez. Uh, Even just not going to the right restaurants, but you know, I never even see this game anymore. I used to see it all the time when I was a kid, but... I guess kids nowadays are too busy with their smartphones to find the simple joy in jumping over pegs on a wooden triangular board. They don't know what they're missing. Or right, back in my day, we had 16-bit uh, digitized versions that used cannonballs. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, all right, I got it, okay. And there you go. All right. And that is the first puzzle room. 
and I get a rock candy, which, you know, I'm not going to keep, but whatever. Okay, next is door six, which is the other puzzle room. And now we start with trivia. There's one question here I find really sort of uh, dirty the way they phrase it. Since you see all you know all the text boxes um, are written in, you know, rather than just spawning completely. This is the one right here. You have Sky Troops and then Sky Troopas, but Sky Troopas doesn't load until the very end. And it's such a minor difference, I can see somebody totally being fooled by that. Anyway, I got him all right, whatever, let's go. Okay, and here is the uh, Count the Barrels puzzle. It really is... It's one of those isometric things where it's harder to tell because you can't really see the whole thing. But, you know, it's just finding different groups and adding them together, so... Then you get a much, much bigger one. And and these these are random as well. I mean, it's just there there are a few combinations, but it's not, not always the same. So So you have patterns of five, patterns of four, and patterns of three, so it's all simple enough. Just gotta be quick about it. Not have some you know annoying, distracting voice constantly talking in your ear while you're trying to count. Oh, sorry, are you out of time? My bad. Now, the character who says each thing is different, depending on when you play the game, uh, but each each phrase is the same. This guy is always number one, the one who says so-and-so was never able to, to beat me. Um, and then the guy who says I came in third in swimming is always the last one, so... Because he has no other accomplishments than coming in third in swimming. And with that, we get another rock candy. Alright, so now I'm going to reset the game and we're going to do the puzzle, I mean, sorry, the action and battle stages. Alright, so action stage. Anytime you jump, um, the platform lights up, there are items and coins and things, and... Just not falling into the lava. You get ten chances to die before you get a game over, so... It's all about that fun isometric platforming. And look, they're all they're all gone. I guess they committed suicide. Okay, that's pretty simple. And oh boy, here we get to the fun stuff, which is the isometric platform jumping. This is by far going to be the most annoying part to have to watch. I don't even need most of this stuff, but I'm just curious to see what they all are, because I'm not looking at my guide right now. Oh, then, yep, that's what happens when you fall. Some, some angles are just easier to see than others in this. And it's hard to imagine how much better Super Mario 64 handles this in the same year. I mean, you know, admittedly, this, this game isn't meant to be as platform-focused as other Mario games. It's still much more platform- ugh, Much more platform-focused than other RPGs, especially JRPG- Oh my god. But, um... So there's some angles I just cannot- Oh, for- It is nice enough to start you back where you fell, except if that... There we, okay, let me start from the beginning here. But yeah, if, if you're in a spot where the, the spot is the problem, then that's not terribly helpful. Ugh. Can't just walk from one platform to the other unless I'm totally perfect. I don't want to jump either because I can't see what I'm doing. 
Okay, okay, almost there. I'm not leaving yet, I got one more item to- uh. Why did I start there? I should have started on the- oh, Whatever, who cares. Alright, a whole bunch of bombs I'm never gonna use. And now the last room is... Well, it's a Donkey Kong clone. Only an isometric perspective. And with, you know, fewer obstacles. Wow, I, I never fall on this one, god. I have three chances left. I'm just really stringing this out as long as I possibly can, aren't I? Wow, I might have to do this whole thing over again. Just gotta wait for him to not throw one this direction. There we go. Alright, there's my opening. Not even a girl to save, huh? Sam, that's the super slap, which is the princess's, um, not best weapon, because we already have the frying pan, so I'm probably never going to use it. It's just a big old slap like her first thing was. Alright, so these are one of the battle rooms. There's, uh, like three rooms, I think, in each one, with all these different pillars, and in each pillar, um, an enemy is summoned, and we have to fight it. And it's pretty much just that, so... I'm only showing this to give you an example. We're not going to uh, show this stuff. It's just not even worth it. But these are by far the longest sections of this game. And also the least interesting to watch because we've seen tons and tons of battles. I don't think there are really any new enemies here. Maybe one or two. I don't know. It's not even that important. So I'll see you at the end. Eight minutes later... And we get the Drill Claw, which is Koopa's best weapon. And I love using it. I mean, the Spike Link is pretty satisfying to use, but this is just, I don't know, it's, it's just like his original unarmed version. But it has a nice, his arm spins somehow. It's not even physically possible, but I love it. It feels so cool. We'll, we'll see you later. Alright, puzzle was... Four, I think so. Okay, here's the next action stage. More platform jumping. Yay, I love it. Okay, okay. The best best hint I can give for this one is to only jump when the platform you're jumping to is higher. Otherwise, you'll tend to overshoot. See, there we go. And that's why I failed that one. Okay. Now, if you ride this one to the top, there is an item up here, so it's fun to do. Kara Kara Cola. God, I'm out of out of space as always. Yeah, sure, why not? Great. Until I manage to clear out my inventory. Oh, for crying out loud! Until I manage to clear out my inventory. Well, that's convenient. We'll be seeing that uh, that dialogue box a lot. Okay, so this is when you have to ride this cannonball to get to the door and also get items along the way. The bombs touch you, you die, and when you're on the cannonball, your controls are reversed. Alright, I got a flower. And now I can't see the cannonball. I love this isometric perspective! <sighs> I get these guys over here. There we go, okay. <sighs> and, yeah, now they're at my cannonball. Lovely. Would you come over here, please? Something. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. And a rock candy. Nice. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying. I'm not getting rid of the puzzle stages because I don't care about rock candy. I like having rock candy. I just prefer the weapons. Although, I guess Super Slap isn't terribly necessary. Alright, 
would you get over here? Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Uh, okay, come on. Uh, over here. Uh, yay. I died four times already? <laughs> oh god, you could hear that cannonball moving there, couldn't you? Alright, hopefully I can just make the jump from here. 98 flowers, awesome. I've never gotten this close to maxing out before. Okay, good, it didn't fall off. Oh, uh, and this is the worst one by far. Mostly because these platforms don't usually tend to line up with where the treasure boxes are, so you kind of have to make a leap of faith. Hey, was that- that was another flower, wasn't it? I think I'm maxed out now. So hoping I could just- maybe just barely reach it. Uh, or, you know, that. Oh, yeah, I did max out. I've never seen that before. Yeah, you, you see that? That was a flower, but it was grayed out because I can't get any more. So I'm glad I wasted my time on that. But no, that was, that was fun to see. This is the worst right here. Is it now that it's cut into that I'm gonna fall in because I couldn't see the jump? Ugh. It's not fair. That's not my fault. Ah. Okay, that was... that was my fault. We've heard this lonely spin around and then I get to the thing. I'm gonna risk this. Uh, no, no, oh, come on. Now I gotta wait for it. Just go back around again. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't fall. Okay, okay. Phew. Small miracles and all that. Okay, this is the last chest of the last room of the last action area. And it's a Kara Caracola, which is kind of useful, I suppose. I don't care, it's done, it's over, just get to the flipping last- Okay, we're done, we're done, we are done. And it's the S Sonic Symbol, which is Mallow's best weapon. Which, I don't know, of all the things he could have had as a final weapon, this is like my least favorite. Because I never really cared for the symbol, but it's 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 better than the regular symbol. It has a nice little shock wave coming out. Whatever, who cares? All right, finally, it's the last fighting room. So I'll see you later. Eight minutes later, and we get the star gun, which is Gino's best weapon. Which I really I'm out of room. Oh, for crying out loud! Run out of room with everything. Okay. All right. I do like the star gun. That one's really satisfies. Much. I like it much more than the hand cannon. Nice. Okay. And as you can see, we we can't go back now that we've done four rooms. This just leads to the next place. That's why I had to reset. I, I can't do all six unless I go to the castle all over again. All right. 
And oh look, it's the Magic Koopa we were facing during the battle scenes that you didn't see much of because I cut through most of that, but uh... Right, the interesting thing is, is I feel like any time any kind of Magic Koopa has a big role in Mario ever since uh, 1985, people always go, oh, it's, it's Kamek, you know, from Yoshi's Island. Um, although in this case, I think the, the Japanese script actually seems to imply that it is, while the American script seems to leave that out. So how about that? But he's, he's, he's not going to last very long. Also, this is the star gun. Isn't it fun? It shoots stars at things. It has a nice sound, and, and now he's dead. Hope you weren't expecting long, engaging boss battles, because <laughs> I'm OP'd as heck. I liked him better in red. I just like red, whatever, you know. It will never run out of... Okay, now, now we can understand how Koopa can afford all the things that he does. All the giant airships and multiple castles and all... Hiring all these henchmen, I guess, if he pays them, I don't, I don't know. Because he has henchmen who can just make money for him. Ooh, my, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Alright, and Croco somehow managed to get through all the doors before us and set up a different shop with different items, which now has the final uh, uh, armor of the game. Although I, I didn't buy Mario's because he has a super suit and the super suit is awesome. But we got the, uh, you would have the hero shirt, the prince pants, the uh, star cape, the royal dress, and the heel shell. Which I, I think is a mistranslation. I don't remember at the moment though. Really should have looked that up. <clears throat> See ya! Is that supposed to be like a touching moment? Because he said see ya as I left behind my back because he didn't want me to hear him say... Didn't want me to hear him say see ya? I don't know, anyway. Uh, this door moves us forward, finally. Oh look, it's another action segment. Uh, obviously the thwomps stop you in place when they stomp, so you're not moving very much. And then these guys happen. We, we did see them uh, in the battle sequences that I cut out, but I knew I'd see them here, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think we've ever seen these before in the game. They do that. It's weird that the bullet itself becomes the cannon in battle that fires more cannons. It's a really uh, weird Russian nesting doll kind of concept, but uh, yeah, there we are. Okay, now we've made it to the last room of the castle. Which looks like the last room we were in before a long time ago. It's, it's, you know. Game's almost over, we gotta reuse assets as much as we can, right? And we have this, this random samurai robot guy. I do think it's cute how, I guess, they sort of gave up on the chain chomp idea they had at the beginning of the game, so obviously we, we can't uh, target it like we could the chain chomps. We now have these uh, chandelier ho. I don't know why they're called that. But shy guys on ropes, basically. Hey, he's not gonna last very long. I'm kind of surprised it's lasted this long. Oh, here we go. Okay, now he's gonna change to his boss mode, which is in blue. Oh. That lasted less than I thought it would. 
I can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen. I won't fall in battle. <coughs> I'm at an attack. Uh... I don't need your sympathy. I'm a soldier. I'm prepared to go. Take a dive. See you later, kids. I guess that's uh, his... I guess that's the smithy form of seppuku. Other than stabbing yourself, you stab the guy holding you up. <clears throat> Excuse me. You stab the guy holding you up. What is wrong with my voice this morning? And now for the biggest mood whiplash moment the, the game has. Well, no, I guess Tadpole Pond was pretty much of a big mood whiplash, too. Uh, but it's to uh, get you ready for the giant actual whiplash that's about to occur to the characters. You know, I'm gonna try something I've never done successfully before. One of Gino's special moves is called Gino Whirl, which, if you time it correctly, will do 9,999 damage to an enemy. Ah, oh, there's a whiplash. Uh, it shouldn't work on bosses, but this one boss was somehow misprogrammed. And I've never gotten this to work on anything ever before, but, you know, it's my let's play, so let's try it. Okay, so it turns out the sword is not called Smithy, as I was led to believe. It's called Exor. Uh, but he, he's one of those uh, multiple facet bosses that uh, you can't attack the main component until his guards are down so he has a, he has two eyes and a mouth called Neo Squid and they all attack but as long as both eyes are active and they respawn after a while ah, there there goes an eye as long as as long as uh, both eyes are active you can't attack Exor All right, so I'm gonna try it once now that now that now that an eye is gone um, on Gino's next turn, and I and then once I fail at that, we'll uh, we'll we'll keep going. <gasps> oh my God, I got it! I have never in 23 years I have never gotten that on any enemy ever, and yeah, that's that's the end of that battle. Usually takes quite a lot longer than that. Oh boy, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be excited about that for quite a while. Holy crap! Um, it's actually much later than you would think it is. Like you would think it's as it's passing through the target, but it's actually one of those see the animation then hit the button kind of things. And I would not have guessed that. I'd never guessed that as a kid. I just sort of assumed that it was at its most logical point, and it's not. Okay, so now we got sucked inside of not Smithy the Sword. And this is apparently where every, all the Smithy people come from. But then drama has to happen, because our team is turning on itself, and what could possibly happen with, with this, with this uh, Final Fantasy game? Koopa would probably leave the party for a while, and there'd be like a message of togetherness and faithfulness and blah, 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 blah. But this is Mario, so uh, we're just going to play it for comedy and... Uh, He's gonna be upset about his privacy. Oh, I lost my privacy. I need to get my castle back, and I don't understand what's going on, and I'm dumb. Although I knew I do never get tired of seeing him cry like that. It's hilarious. That is a great animation. So now we have reached the. Uh, the final area, the typical JRPG lost wasteland with white noise playing in the background that's supposed to be wind. And now we must traverse this dangerous otherworldly place to finally reach the conclusion of our journey next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. See you there.